Okay, hi everybody, it's Patty Ann here, and I'm going to show you how to use the snap mat function on your iPad. So I've already opened a new uh, page, and I have three hearts. I just had one, and then I duplicated it. And now the next thing that I want to do is I wanted to change the colors of them, and I'm going to put them on some mats that I have, or not mats, I'm sorry, some little scraps of cardstock that I had. Of course, I could be doing this with vinyl too. So I want to change the colors of them. So I clicked on the layers button down here, came up to the very top one, and if I hit the arrow over, I can change its color. Maybe it will be red. Uh, click on this one, and the arrow over here, I'll make it a blue, I guess. Actually, I'll make it yellow. Yellow-ish. And because these are the colors I actually have. And this one I'm going to make pink. Pink, pink, pink. Okay, so it's pink, kind of an orangey color. A little bit orange. Oh, not quite that orange. Like that. And then a yellow. So I'm just going to go to make it. <clears throat> and I'm going to replace what's already there. And now, as you'll see, it's on three different mats over here on the left. But I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to click on the bottom down here. It says Snap Mat. It's about one-third of the way over from the left. I'm going to click on the words Snap Mat, which is going to bring me to this page. And then I'm going to hold this up. Whoops, get it close enough to my mat so that it can kind of judge where it is. Oh, and it automatically takes a picture of it. Then I will just say I'm going to use it. And now look what I can do now. I can move this mat, this guy here. And on this one, what I can do If I click on this and I hold these buttons, it says move to another mat. I can move it to the this mat. Okay. But I don't want them hooked together. So I'm going to put him on the pink and him on the orange one. And then the last one down here, when I hold click on him, I can say move it to another mat. And I'm going to move it to this one as well. And then I'm going to take it and put it over here. So now I've used these scraps. It's perfectly placed on my mat. The only thing I have to do is hit continue. Then I'll load my mat in. It is cardstock. And I'll be right back to show you what happens. Okay, I've loaded my mat and I just pressed go. So it is cutting. It shouldn't take long at all. It's just three simple hearts. And then I'll add a picture to show you how perfectly they cut out right exactly where I wanted them to cut. So I have a brother scan and cut, but I just think this is a lot easier to use than that is. I could have scanned it in on my scan and cut mat and moved it that way, but to me this is just a really user-friendly, easy way to do it. Okay, my cut is complete, and now I'm going to go get it and I shall show you what or how it turned out.